Fox 16 Sports. Well, three weeks from tonight, a huge crowd is expected to watch Bitten and Bryant play in the Salt Bowl. Tonight, we focus on another team, starting with the letter B. It's the BB Badgers. BB went four and six last season for the second straight year. They also missed the playoffs for the second straight season. This year, BB returns a lot of starters with a lot of experience. The Badgers are also changing their offense from the dead tee to give their running back more room to run. The Badgers believe if they can stay healthy, all their experience will lead to more wins. We got the entire offensive line back from last year, and we got the entire defensive line back. Matter of fact, we got everybody back on defense except for a corner. So that's uh, that's really been a nice thing to have. And, uh, you know, big thing like they've been saying is we got to stay healthy, uh, not a lot of depth. But if we can stay healthy, we feel like we'll have a shot. Our class, the one I've played with since ever, I mean, we've stepped it up the whole way, and we have all 11 back on the field this year. So it should be really good. But all we have our help from the underclassmen, and they're going to help us a lot too. Our sophomore season, we came in and we had like, I think we had 10 or 11 sophomores starting, and we've just all just went through. We've been playing together since, I mean, I know me and Boyce over there, we've been playing football together since we were in like fifth grade. So, I mean, and we've all stayed together. Oh, we're just getting ready and get, getting excited for Fearless Friday. It's always such a fun time that time of year. Well, the Dallas Cowboys got back to work today after taking yesterday off. The preseason opener is Thursday. Babe Laufenberg tells us about a unique way the Cowboys are getting ready for the season. If someone on Vince Lombardi's staff had proposed the idea to the legendary coach to skip practice and do yoga instead, someone would have been looking for a new job. But yoga is here at the Dallas Cowboys training camp, and it appears it's here to stay. I've never done it. Actually, I mean, it was pretty good stretching, um, getting a little stretch on the off day. Had you done yoga before this camp? Not really. Not, not really. I hadn't really picked it up too much, but I mean, I loved it. Do you think you might get to the point one day where you're actually leading the yoga? Oh, man, if I get to that point, I mean, that'll be unreal. You ever see Joe Looney becoming an instructor? He thinks that could be his calling. Uh, a yoga instructor? Yeah. Oh, man. Would you take his class? I definitely would take the Joe Looney class, yeah. <laughs> yes. Nimble. He's very nimble on his feet. Um, doesn't look at it, look like it on the, by the naked eye. But, no, he doesn't uh, look right. like it. But he, he, can, he can get down there, and, and he's pretty nimble. I was joking around, you know, I want to, you know, be able to get my legs over my head here soon. Y'all you know, will get that on camera, I promise you. I'll, I'll make sure to let you guys know. How close are we? Ooh, Ooh, we're, we're, we're still light years away from that right now, but, you know, <laughs> hey, you never know. Miracles happen. <laughs> Miracles do happen, but I'm not so sure we can pull that one off. Gotta love Joe Looney. At Cowboys Training Camp in Oxnard, California, ready to take up yoga. I'm Babe Laufenberg. I think I'd take their yoga class. I bet it would be really great. Well, we'll have a final check of our forecast. That's after the break. Stay with us.